What's up, YouTube? Sir All About Music here, bringing you another question of the week video. And sorry if I sound a little weird or seem a little groggy. I just woke up about a half an hour ago, and I'm still trying to decide uh, where I am. <laughs> I'm really tired. Um, so it has been a week and a day since my I, I last I last saw you guys uh, my last video and so I wanted to do a question of the week video and uh, hopefully maybe I'll get some reviews up this week maybe not I don't know it depends um, but last week's question of the week was <coughs> excuse me Last week's question of the week was, what is your favorite genre? And if you don't want to pigeon yourself into, you know, this is my favorite genre, or pigeonhole bands that you like into your favorite genre, what are your top three favorite bands? Got a lot of variations uh, to answers, which is, you know, totally fucking awesome. Um, I got people that gave me their, their favorite genre, their top three favorite genres, and then their top three favorite bands. Um, who was it? And then someone actually... Oh yeah, crack, crack Rock Steady Man um, gave me like seven different genres and then his top three in each genre. And I thought that was pretty cool. You should definitely go check his comment out. Um, he's got punk rock, hardcore punk, noise rock, sludge, post-hardcore, emo, grunge, and indie. And so, yeah, and he's got three bands each for those and they're some pretty, pretty fucking badass bands. So let's go over actually a, a couple of your guys' comments since most of these are, are pretty short. Uh, Xanth, Xanth 016, I have to say that 70s rock and roll like the Stones and the Who and Zeppelin. I can roll with that. I'm a huge Zeppelin fan. Absolutely fantastically huge Zeppelin fan. I fucking worship Zeppelin. So that's awesome. Um... Alan McBee, alt rock, favorite bands are Radiohead, Pixies, and My Bloody Valentine. Outer Space Spaceman says favorite genre is Stoner slash Doom. Uh, Nintendo Devil, anything metal. Fixed B, electronic rock, I think. <laughs> um, our band could said punk for the various different versions that still leave me in awe. An ethic and the power given to the individual who does what they want. And there, his bands in no particular order are Frank Turner, Fugazi, and Husker Du. Pretty awesome. Uh, KDS Rocks. Top three are probably Nirvana, Electric Wizard, Alice in Chains, Acid King, or the Pixies. Uh, CM Punk fan. Shoegaze, Post Punk, or Experimental. Yeah, there's a, there's a whole bunch on here. Um, Chicken420 said, I don't have a personal favorite, but I would say Alternative Metal, Grunge, Progressive and Experimental Metal, and Math Core. Punk Rock. Lots of Punk Rock and lots of Metal... Uh, lovers on here. <clears throat> Riven Dude, definitely freak rock progressive, but not what most would consider prog. I absolutely abhor the airy, fairy, mid-70s stuff like ELP and Yes. Yes is awesome. ELP had a couple of good songs. To me, alternative and prog are really one and the same. Music that is made to challenge listeners, freak people out, and evolve. And he had the Mothers of Invention on his, on his top favorites, so that's pretty badass. Um, yeah, I just got s just an abundance of comments uh, answering this question. It was really cool. You guys should definitely go look over them. Um, but only one of you commented my favorite. Uh, Joe D424, his number one fave uh, genre of music, which is my number one fave, is the blues. In my mind, everything comes back to the blues. Um, oh, not everything, but 70% of the popular music and all music, really, in, in, in Western culture, comes back to just some guy sitting in a rundown apartment or a rundown house with a guitar and talking about his problems. I mean, th to me, that is just... <laughs> to me, that is just the purest... Uh, the closest you can come to the purest form of 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 music. I mean, music in my mind is supposed to translate some kind of some kind of message that's important to you, and to talk about your pain is a very personal thing. And you know, and to to be able to write a song that so many you know, pain is something that everybody everybody, no matter where you're from. It can identify with. It's not something that's exclusive. Um, 
you know, like I went down to the record store and bought this cool record. What I mean, uh, that's a stupid example, but um, it really, pain is just something that every every person shares, everyone shares, and blues musicians, good blues musicians, have a way of capturing that and just taking it down to its bare essence, and they feel everything they play. Like I got it, I got it. Like the first time I, I just saw BB King play. Um, it was a recording. I wasn't even there, and the the power and the emotion that he puts into his playing, I have not found in any other musician since. I mean, you know, I've seen, I've gone to see, I've, I've seen, you know, almost twenty bands so far in my in my short lifetime, um, and I know that's not a lot, but you know, twenty bands, and while they're all great and they put passion in their music, I just, I don't, I feel that blues musicians have more to put in. So, that's the deal with that. And, like I said, most popular music can be drawn back to the blues. And I just think I just think that the blues are where it's at. And I'm not talking about the, the soido psychedelic blues or electric blues. I'm talking about Robert Johnson, Sun House, um... Junior Kimbrough, those guys, you know, the, the the guys that just, it was them and a guitar. And maybe you can throw in, like, you know, Muddy Waters and his band. Uh, I, I definitely appreciate that, but I just, you know, that's that's where it's at for me. That's where it's always been. I, you know, I love noise rock, and like you guys know, I love a bunch of other stuff, but the blues is where it's at. So, I know that was a bit long. Sorry about that. Let's get to the question of the week. And uh, I'm not asking this question because I'm copying out and I don't have any ideas. I actually, I thought this would be a really, really cool question to ask. Uh, and this is the question of the week. What should next week's question of the week be? I don't know. I thought that would be pretty cool to see your guys' responses. So, you know, like, what w- what would you ask? Um, I'm now at 158 subs-, subs. What would you ask 158 people for the question of the week? I don't know. Thought it would be a cool uh, question. Love to see your guys' responses. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys next time.